Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing my memory spread and this is for the week of December 9th through December 15th. And if you're new to my channel or you're not familiar with my planning style, um, currently I am doing memory spreads. That is how I choose to use this particular planner from Erin Condren. Um, and that just basically means that I go back in to fill out the week after it's already done. So it's really more of a journaling or scrapbooking process, if you will. So for this week, I have a really gorgeous Christmas kit from um, Nikki Plus 3. This is a pink Christmas kit and I just think it's so beautiful. I'm really excited to use it. Um, I'm going to go over really quickly what's included and then we'll jump right in. So first she included a sheet of gold foil date dots and a weekend banner. She also has some of these hearts and arrow stickers and then this one is a Black Friday exclusive freebie. I did purchase from her shop over Black Friday so we've got all sorts of different boxes and the background is like this pink color. And onto the kit, this one is called Christmas Express. We have a sheet of these matching gold foiled icons. I love these so much. They're super functional. Um, there's pretty much everything that you could want. And I often find myself holding onto this sheet and pulling them in um, in future spreads as well. And then here we have the full boxes and some quarter boxes at the bottom. We've got half boxes, some washi strips, some deco pieces, flags, tech stickers. And this page is gold foiled. We've got some bow check flags. We have headers. I think these are like patterned headers. We have have some quarter boxes and third boxes, habit trackers, a bill due, and an appointment label. And the last page here has the bottom washi, which is two different strips. We've got a Monday through Sunday box, some date covers, and then quarter boxes at the bottom. She definitely manages to fit quite a lot of stickers into her kits, which I love. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I want to go ahead and get started. I just love this kit so much, and I can't wait to see how this turns out. I white out those little lines on the planner that I usually like to white out just so I can create a little space between the bottom box and the bottom washi section. Um, but for this week, I decided to white out a bit more. I decided to also take away those darker and bolder lines just because I figured the larger bottom washi strip has a white background. And so I just didn't want those lines to peek through. Um, for some reason, the longer washi strip was cut a little bit too long. So I did use my slice precision cutter to just trim off the excess part. I go ahead and do the same thing on the other side and then for my sidebar this week I decided to use the text box in the top corner um, I whited out the large hexagon as you can see it doesn't match my kit at all and then above the full box I pulled in this gold foil December sticker that's from art box stickers I still haven't done the haul yet and I've already used like two of those stickers but I really wanted to use them already so oh well um, then moving on to the rest of my sidebar I used a strip of the foiled header from the kit with a habit tracker to track my working out and then I placed down a today header with a bow check flag to mark my happy moments. I used the Monday through Sunday box there at the bottom to track my dinners and there was a little bit of space left so I used another strip of the pattern header just to close out that space. I decided to use gold foil text stickers for my sidebar headers this week. So the workout one is from Samantha May Sticks. The this week header is from Magic Prince Co. And then the remember header is from Rose Color Days. The next thing I do is place down all the date covers at the top and I also pulled in these date dots and this is from the Nikki Plus 3 sheet that came along with my kit. Once I have them all down, I move on to Monday. So the first thing I do is place down a today header with an appointment label to mark a testing appointment I had at one of my sites and um, I used a gold foiled pencil sticker from Samantha May Sticks to mark that. Before going to my other school, I decided to grab some coffee on the way. Um, I placed down a piece of the deco from the kit, and over that I layered this gold foiled coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker. I tried the Irish cream cold brew that day because my favorite pumpkin spice cold brew was no longer available and honestly I was super disappointed. I definitely didn't like it as much. It was um, not as sweet as I would like it and so it looks like I'm still on the hunt for my next favorite drink. Um, but anyways I did have an IEP meeting that afternoon so I go ahead and put that on a half box with an IEP sticker from Happy Dia Stickers. I then used a full box with this laptop sticker from Magic Prince Co. to mark that I worked on reports and just answered some emails later that day. Um, and then later that evening when I got home, um, we ended up just watching a bunch of TV that night. So I used a quarter box to mark that and the gold foil TV icon came with the kit. For some reason that night, I had really bad insomnia. I don't know if it's because I had coffee a little bit later than I usually do, um, but I seriously could not sleep till like two or three in the morning. Um, so to mark that, I used a flag from the kit with this tired emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. 
Moving on to Tuesday, I first used a quarter box and that boba sticker is from Hazel Sticker. I went and treated myself to boba and Thai food for lunch that day, um, partially because I was so tired and I just wanted something to look forward to at work. Um, then I put down a full box and underneath that I used an appointment label with this asterisk sticker that came in the kit to mark a meeting that I had. I then had another IEP meeting, and for those of you who are new to my channel, IEPs are meetings that we hold for students in special education, and they are a really big part of my job, so I always want to mark them when I have these types of meetings. Um, then after work that day, I finally started my Christmas shopping. I felt like I was super behind this year, probably because Thanksgiving was a little bit later this year, um, but to mark that, I used a half box with this Shopping Girl sticker from Fox and Pip. I then put down a quarter box, but I had a sliver of space left at the bottom, so I just used a strip of that pattern washi to close it up, and on the quarter box, I put down this checkbox from Samantha May Sticks and an edit script sticker from Magic Prints Co. to mark that I did some editing when I got home after shopping. On Wednesday, I first put down a full box at the bottom because I already knew I wanted that one there. Um, I was going to be writing something inside it. And then moving to the top, I first used a pattern header and then I used this quarter box with the laptop sticker that came with the kit to mark something that I did at work. I then decided to work backwards so I knew how much space I had to work with. Um, I ended up having more space than I needed. So you'll see me later kind of writing things quite large so I can take up more room. I placed down all the boxes that I wanted to use for the day, and like I said, that just helps me space out the day in my mind so I know what I can or can't mark. On that quarter box under the today header, I put down a bow paper clip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. to mark that I had a pretty busy day at work, and then I pulled in this gold foiled mail sticker from Magic Prince Co. to mark that I mailed my giveaway package that day. On the half box, I pulled in this bow sticker from Clever Gal Crafts to mark that I went to happy hour with a couple of my friends that night, and then um, the place we went to was at a mall so we did a little bit of shopping afterwards um, so that went on the quarter box and then on the full box I wanted to mark that we went to the Nordstrom VIP party that night one of my friends is a VIP member so she was able to bring two friends um, so that ended up being pretty fun they had like a bunch of free food and drinks and snacks um, so yeah it was like a really fun experience I put down this champagne sticker from plans with Vanessa and um, when I lifted it up it did take away some of the color on the box um, I just wanted to move it into a different spot and so to cover up those little splotches I put down a gold foiled heart from Clever Gal Crafts. Now moving on to Thursday, I first put down a to-do header at the top and then I used a quarter box with this little deco piece from the kit to mark that I caught up with one of my coworkers that morning. And then I used a quarter box, I'm sorry, a half box with this gold foiled pencil and meeting sticker. Both of those are from Hazel Sticker to mark a meeting that I had that day. I then used a full box and underneath that I used another quarter box with this house icon from the kit to mark that I had a pretty lazy night. Um, we did not end up going to date night for some reason and so we just kind of stayed home and chilled out. Underneath the quarter box I put down a today header and cut up this bow checklist into two bows to mark some things that I did that night and at the very bottom I placed down a strip of washi. I pulled in this Coffee Monsters Co. Emoti to mark that I had to scoop my cat Pokey. And then on the um, washi strip, I used this gold foil TV sticker from Magic Prince Co. to mark that we started the newest season of The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. It's really good, so I would definitely highly recommend it. Um, and yeah, that was it for Thursday. So for Friday, I started by placing down a full box at the top. I then used a quarter box to mark that I got a creme brulee latte that morning. It was really good, and I liked it a lot better than the Irish cream cold brew that I had earlier in the week. I then placed down a piece of deco with this upload sticker from Randy.plans and I used that to mark that I uploaded a plan with me that morning and then I put down this little quarter box with these arrow stickers to mark that I wrote reports on that day. I put down a half box at the end of the day and then this is where I ended up switching up a bunch of stuff. I realized I didn't really have enough space to include writing reports so I lifted up that quarter box and I put down a new one and on it I used this car sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark that I took some friends to the airport that day because they were headed on a trip and then um, I used a to-do header with a half box and this drink sticker I believe that is from the Coffee Monsters Co to mark that my boyfriend and I went to happy hour at this Hawaiian place um, so I felt like that that little drink with the umbrella is super perfect to mark that. At the bottom, I wanted to mark that we watched more Mrs. Maisel that night, and so I used a gold foiled heart from Clever Gal Crafts. 
I decided to write the word binge in cursive so you see me whiting it out and rewriting it and then for Saturday I decided to start by placing down a full box at the bottom. Moving to the top of Saturday, I placed down a couple strips of the pattern headers, and then on top of that, I layered the gold foiled weekend banner that came with my kit. I feel like it was a little bit crooked, but I didn't want to lift it up and ruin the foil, so I just kind of dealt with it. And the first thing I do on Saturday is put down this today header, and I cut up another bow checklist into two bows to mark some things I did that morning. Um, I did do some laundry, so I pulled in this gold foil laundry sticker from Hazel Sticker. My friend then came over and we drove down to San Diego together. Um, I used a, I think it's a strip of washi with this car sticker again from Nicole Hutch Designs. It's the same one that I used on Friday. And um, then I placed down some boxes to see how much space I had to mark everything that we did that night. Um, I cut down a little bit of the full box so I could make more room. I shifted things around a little bit and on that half box, or I'm sorry, on the quarter box, I just put down a gold foiled bow from the kit to mark that we surprised one of my friends for her birthday and she had absolutely no idea that we were coming down to see her and hang out with her. So she was totally surprised and she started crying, which was so sweet. So yeah, I would say mission accomplished. Um, then we went to grab some sushi for dinner. So I used a sushi sticker from um, Paper and Milk. And then at the end of the night, we did sleep over at her place. We ended up just having a really chill girls night um, we did some face mask and had some live chats and yeah it was just a really good time so I put down this little face mask girl from paper bear co moving on to Sunday I slept in that morning because we were up pretty late the night before so to mark that I used a quarter box with a sleeping mask sticker from planning like a pro we then packed up and headed out of our friend's place, and um, initially I just wrote that on my planner, but I decided I wanted to add a little bit of color in that space, so I go ahead and pull in a flag and then used the suitcase icon from the kit on top of it. I then put down a quarter box and used this coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that my friend and I went and grabbed some Starbucks, and then we headed over to visit our friend and her baby. I used that full box to mark that. It had a little bit of empty space inside, so I just decided to write it in there. And then I pulled in a burrito sticker from Plans with Vanessa to mark that we went and grabbed some Mexican food with our friend. And then on the half box at the very bottom, I put down this car sticker from the kit to mark that we drove home, and then my friend um, left from my house back to her place, and I just kind of relaxed for the rest of the night. It felt really great to be back at home, so I'm pretty sure I just spent the rest of the night on the couch watching TV. And yeah, that is it for my week. So I go ahead and move back to my sidebar. As usual, the last thing that I do is to track all the things in my sidebar. I show you guys these stickers that I have left in this kit, and I am going to keep the icon sheet, um, but most of the other stuff will be included in a future leftovers giveaway. And I'm just doing a vid wiggle to show you guys the foiling in this spread. Um, I did pull in quite a bit and there was already quite a bit of foil in the kit itself so it definitely ended up being very shiny and I think super gorgeous. Um, now I'm just kind of walking you guys through the spread a little bit so you can see the details a bit better and yeah that is it for this week. I'm so so glad I picked up this kit from Nikki Plus 3. I think it's so incredibly gorgeous and I'm pretty sure this is one of my favorite Christmas spreads that I've ever done and um, yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know what you think or if you have any questions about stickers I used and forgot to mention. Thank you guys so, so much for watching as usual. As you know, I always appreciate your support and um, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.